I don't want to steal my crow's food, but <laughs> <laughs> but that peanut butter bread looks good to me. <laughs> I miss bread. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> this is the second time we're doing this video. I know. I started over because... I know, because you made yourself sick. I, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Talking about the, <laughs> that ham. It was like a birth. <laughs> and I'm going to talk about it again, but that's not why I started over. Oh. I realized I hadn't been recording the whole time. No way. Yes. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself. Only you, dude. <laughs> Only you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why things pop out of my mouth. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> we had an argument earlier. Yeah. Because she's just like, she says the first thing that comes to her mind sometimes. Without thinking. Without thinking. And I was like, Mom, that was really, really, really mean. Yeah, really like, rotten. Really mean. Like, why are you being mean to me like that? And she's like, I'm not. And I'm like, that was mean. And then she thought about it. She's like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, it's okay. Um, but yeah, you're sometimes things come out of your mouth. Anyway, I want to talk about how fat you're not. And how fat I am. You're not fat any longer. You no, are No, I still am. No, you're to be you're to be patted on the back for doing such a good okay, job. Okay, so you can pat me on the back fat. Yes. But anyway. <laughs> Um, you look great. I mean, you've lost a lot of weight, and it's showing. Well, I started keto. Yes. Because I am, I was getting close to 300 pounds, 265 pounds. Yeah. 262, something like that. And then I, like, kind of uh, tried and tried and tried for months, and I got down to, like, 257. Not much progress. So I, I went on keto, and now I'm down to 234, which is still huge for me. You know, my I am six foot two and have weighed 185, 190. For years. And like normal. And then I gained, you know, 80 pounds. Yeah. Which is huge. And everyone's like, you carry it so well. You would never know. You look at you, you'd never know. Well, for a while you did. Yeah. And then, then you knew. Then it was bad. I was my breathing and everything. So, yes, I've lost about 30 pounds and I've got about 30 more to go. Yeah. And I'm sure that my face is gonna fall when that happens. I'm sure I'm gonna like I'm gonna look 90 years old at that no. point. No, I'm, I know what's gonna happen, and uh, well, I'll be I'll you're be the young one to, enough to have you still have elasticity. It'll go back. I also have a good plastic surgeon, so I'll just pull that crap back. I'll have. <laughs> Just, I want to go. They'll pull all my loose skin behind my head, tie it in a knot, and cut it off. I always said if they would just put my hair in a ponytail and shake me real hard, <laughs> <laughs> that that's how I'd rather look. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> your eyes bulging out of your head. <laughs> um, but here's, here's where I am. There's something wrong with me, Mom. No, there is no, not one thing wrong with No, you. there is. No, there isn't. I am just a walking contradiction. I I just, I am walking around barking with You're my... You're just conflicted, that's all. I'm so conflicted. We grew up eating... Junk food. Always. Always. TV dinners, fast food. We have to blame that on Grandma. Well, right. Let's do it. She's yes. not here to defend herself. Yes. herself. <laughs> Grandma did it. <laughs> yeah. Grandma did everything. Well, but, her hot dogs. But no, it, it really was just... Con now, in all fairness, you were a working mother and worked several jobs. And so it was like, open up a can of... Um, Here's, here's a can of SpaghettiOs or beefaroni or here's some TV dinners. And I remember a lot of times that you would say the foods in the oven just warm it up. Or and you hated it. Oh, <laughs> oh God. And so I learned to love yeah, fast nitrates. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so I... I'd put it in the crock pot, crock pot all night and then put it on a plate and keep it warm in the oven. <laughs> there were times, Mom... Where I tried to, I would just like take flour and water and try to make like food 
because I would not eat what was in that crock pot. I was like, no, and I would put like sugar in it. Mom, it just anything to not eat that food. That's paste you're making. Yeah, and it water. tasted better than your pot roast. Oh. What? <laughs> Gee. So, and then, you know, I grew up and, and I could afford to eat in great restaurants. And so you eat out uh, three times a day. Yes. Every day for many, 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 many yes, years. Yes, and anytime we're together or I'm with anybody, that's what we're doing is we're eating out. Yes. So, yes, I got fat as yeah. hell. I did too. Fat. You gained 40 pounds since you've been out here. No. 20. 20. Yeah, 20 pounds in the last couple of years. Yeah. So, um... And my clothes aren't fitting. Yeah, so we all decided to go keto. Yes. And, um... Now here's where the conflict comes in. So they're like, hey, you're gonna eat bacon and eggs and cheese and- And a lot of it. And, and all the lunch meat you can eat and all of the, all of these things. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, I can't eat this processed food. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, like all of a sudden I'm like, mom, don't eat bacon. <laughs> mom, you can't eat that lunch meat. Put that sliced turkey in the trash immediately. What the hell is that about? What happened to me? I don't know. Something in this diet. And I thought, if I'm going to be consumed... I know what it is. <laughs> what? I do know what it is. What? I just answered my own thing. What? Although I ate a lot of junk food, I ate pastas, and I ate sandwiches, and I ate a lot of pizza, and I ate a lot of... Um, like hamburgers and fried chicken sandwiches, things like that, right? Right. When you're just cutting out the bread and you're just eating the meat by itself, mm -hmm. you roll up a piece of lunch meat mm -hmm. and that slippery, slimy, sluggy tasting thing is you're chewing it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you're like, and then you're like thinking, what part of the turkey is this from? It isn't. Right. I'm like, I don't know what part of the turkey this tastes like but it doesn't taste like thanksgiving i think they roll out the slime and cut it in no. squares oh i watched a youtube video <laughs> and then i was like "Ooh, that's not good <laughs> and then of course i start reading about you know and I, i've never really been a steak guy i've never you know every now and then yeah but then they're like eat meat every single day and i'm like red meat yeah so then i'm like you know on the youtube wagon of like looking through all the the keto and then it's like carnivore diets and all these people are like all i do is eat red meat red meat red meat red meat red meat and i'm like i'm a rocket scientist now and i'm a bodybuilder and i'm like <laughs> you know all these amazing things right and i'm like wow and then this one lady goes on one of these shows and she's like cool but the amino acids in that are going to uh Give you cancer. Go into your lower intestines and give you this cutest, cutest man walking up the street with his little buggy. Um, yeah, give you colon cancer. So then I go down the colon cancer rabbit hole. And I'm like, oh my gosh. What's worse than red meat? Processed foods. So now I'm like, I'm on this diet that is like shoving processed foods down your throat. They were saying, eat things like a Slim Jim. Eat things like... Uh, like canned Vienna sausages and all these yeah. all these things, right? Um, oh, let me tell you what I did eat. What? I ate something called a pork rind. <gasps> oh, I used to love those. I know you used to love those, and I'd never had them as a kid, so I didn't know. You didn't get the right one. Mom, there's no such thing as a right one. Yes, there is. I... You shouldn't have looked on Google. I didn't look on Google. I put it in my mouth in the car because I was starving. I was like, I need a snack. And I, and I as it soon as it was in tongue. my mouth, as soon as it was in my mouth, I knew it was a mistake. I knew I, I, I f***ed up. Excuse my language. Uh-oh. My eyes started watering. Uh-oh. And then I was looking around everywhere here. I was looking everywhere for something to spit it out in. And I couldn't, there was nothing. Of course, I always have crap all over my car. And there was absolutely nothing to spit it in. <laughs> and the smell and the taste. And then uh, there's cars next to me. And I can't spit it out the window. And so I literally swung around the corner like Dukes of Hazard, Like, like you'd think I was outrunning the police. I turned that corner <laughs> so fast. And I rolled my window down. And I, I thought it would come out. This is so gross. I thought I could just spit it out like in a hole. Like, you know how you spit out a wad of gum? But it, it didn't does, come out that way. It, it came out as like shotgun speckles. blast. 
<laughs> all over my car door. Oh all no! Over, and I was so miserable. I almost, I almost went and cheated. I almost went and got like cupcakes. I was like, this isn't worth it. My life is more important than this. So, uh, anyway. It make you want to go get a cupcake, huh? It did. <laughs> do you get that taste out of your mouth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was awful, 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 awful. Worst thing in my life. Worst thing. Almost worst thing. Well, you know, with that meat that now I, now you say it's okay to eat deli meat on keto. But I still have to fry it. I, I roll it up in little rolls. And I fill up my skillet, and then I turn it and turn it and turn it, and I cook it. I know, but that's not helping the poison in it. I still don't think you should be eating it. Look, I... I am conflicted now. Me too, because you should just buy the the beef and the chicken and the fish and the turkey and cook it at home yourself and then slice it up into your snacks, right? What makes you think that's healthy? Look at all the drugs they put in it. I know. I, then you tell me that. You're like, you know, they're sending our chicken over to China, and then they're processing it there and sending it back, and then you got me down that Google hole. Yeah. Um, and then all the chicken is washed in chlorine and ammonia. And then now, leaks. then I'm seeing they have 3D printed meat, and they have, like, things with meat glue, and... Uh, oh, I know. It just makes me want to go out and just well, eat I'd grass. Well, rather, I'd rather eat a lab-grown uh, meat from a cell than to kill a whole cow. Sure, great. I don't know. Well, I would. But then, also, what else is in that? Like, you know that if they're going to add nitrates to it, you know they're going to add all kinds of weird no. chemicals. Why do they add nitrates to, to keep the botulism out of lunch meat and out of bacon? Because it's animals, and animals are... It's still animals, Mom. What is? The 3D meat is still using animal cells. It's still animal. Yeah, but it doesn't have all the... In all, all the injections from... Right, but it still could go rotten and spoil, so they're still going to have to fill it with preservatives. They're still going to have to figure out a way to... Well, that's why I love Beyond Meat. I know, but I don't know about that either. Oh, it's good. But didn't it have a lot of carbs in it? It did. It, it was a... made with beet juice or something. Yeah, sugary. and peas. Yeah, that's those are kind of sugary vegetables. I don't know. It's hard. It is hard. Yeah, it's too bad that being fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad that society doesn't accept being healthy as over very overweight. Well, apparently, and I'm not an expert on this, <laughs> apparently physicians have said that it increases the risk of diabetes, heart attacks, and all kinds of other diseases so that you know you don't Obesity want... Obesity isn't healthy. Right. So <laughs> Type my diabetes. thing is, why is it? Why is it that, like, cupcakes are bad for you and spinach is good for you? Like, wouldn't it be wonderful if they were like... No, spinach isn't that wonderful. It'll give you kidney disease. The oxalate. Oh, the kidney stones, which is why, like, okay, so by the way, we're all, the whole family's on this diet. I'm torturing, if I'm going down, everybody's, everybody's coming with Everybody's going me. with you. Everybody's <laughs> coming with me. But I Even don't, my kids. I'm not a full-on keto because I love blood oranges and grapefruit. Yeah, I, I, you, I could never take fruit away from you because you need fruit and vegetables. Um, but for me, it's too sugary. But then I just, yeah, with all the, the oxalates, whatever they're called in spinach, I had to take little peat and switch them to arugula so i started buying everybody arugula and then you, you threw the bag of arugula at my head no i will not eat it i will only eat that uh, iceberg lettuce only i don't like any other lettuce you don't like the mixed greens you no. don't like any of it no 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 oh i'll tell you what i miss on this diet what i I feel sorry for my crows because here I am making peanut butter bread and I cut it up into little cubes and I take my knife and lift it up and pull them all apart so they don't stick, put them in their bag and it's like, I don't want to steal my crow's food, but Mom. <laughs> but that peanut butter bread looks good to me. <laughs> I miss bread. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Oh. I will say that my cravings are less. I am having fewer cravings. I don't crave uh, cakes and pies. I can pass that up. Mm -hmm. It's the bread that I'm having a problem with. Yeah. A Parker House roll, I'd kill you for it. Yeah. 
I've been I've been doing my treat like my tr- my cheat day once a week with I'll make heavy whipping cream with a little bit of stevia. It tastes like butt. It's not good, but your brain works in mysterious ways. I'll take one blackberry and cut it up into little pieces so it's all through the the cream. And I'm talking about a half a cup, like just, you know, just a little bit. And then I'll have a Diet Dr. Pepper. But I tell you what I'm done, I feel like I ate a whole cake and I feel guilty. I'm like, oh, because it's so sweet. Everything tastes so sweet after that. Um, You didn't tell me there is a cheat day on a keto diet. Because you've been cheating every day with the sugary fruits that you've been eating. And I see cans of Ready Whip in your refrigerator. So who are you fooling? Well, you said that was allowable. Okay, so that's your cheat day I, every day. I don't day. touch that. Oh, you don't? No, I don't oh. even like that. Can I tell you what I love about coming to your house? No. I'm going to. No. I like when I go into your refrigerator. Oh, no. And all the things are chopped up into little pieces and they're in little containers in water. Or sometimes not water. Like, there's like... My cucumbers. There's like cucumber I mean, slices. There's celery, celery slices. There's... There's bell, not red, slices. They're just little chop... Yeah. Like chop them in little yeah, pieces. Little pieces. So they're easy to eat. Yeah. So you can just reach in and get like some red pepper, some green pepper, some cucumbers, some... Like all these like yummy little like broccoli florets and cauliflower yeah. florets. And, and you're just... And cheese cut up. Yeah. And everything. And with paper in between them so they don't stick. Yeah. I love that. I, I, you notice the first thing I do when I walk in. Hi, mom. Kiss, kiss, and I run right to the refrigerator. You do always <laughs> open up the refrigerator. What's in here? And it's cold, and it makes everything crispy and delicious. Yeah, I love that. That's good. And I could probably do that at my house, but well, I buy, buy I a great big bag of oranges, and I have a great big bowl, and then I cut them all up get the slices out of them yeah. and put them in a container yeah so and it's just a... perfect but you know what it really really and then you have all kinds of seeds and nuts oh yeah you have like pumpkin seeds and some oh i have seeds a great big and... pickle jar full of uh pumpkin seeds yeah it's my favorite yeah so i go over there and i get like a but oh, walnuts, you gotta be pecans. careful because those, they're fattening yeah so i'll just take like a little you know a few seeds and some celery and it's and then it's you notice i have cheese. a little little cup in there so no one sticks their hands in it but that doesn't stop me from sticking my hand in it well why do i put a little cup in there for other people oh my hands go in the jar oh okay. I'm, I'm kidding <laughs> my hand wouldn't even fit in that narrow top no. i notice you do that like you make the narrow top so your hands can't go in there <laughs> so you know what i do i grab the whole jar and i just hold it up to my oh, mouth oh you do not and i you pour it in not. my mouth and then some of them fall back out of my mouth into the jar for you later no that's not true <laughs> that's not true <laughs> i thought about that ham again oh don't think about I it have to then we have to cut the video again and start over no. <laughs> we were talking about processed foods all and we the had way. to cut the film because he was gagging well no but it wasn't recording <laughs> But I just saw this lady, and I don't know why she reminded me of processed ham. Uh-oh. It's a really weird thing to correlate. But anyway, it was strange. Indeed. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I, I was going to make a ham dinner for my girlfriend, and I was a teenager, and I went to the store, and I bought a ham in a can. <laughs> and you, you rolled the lid open, and then you plop it out onto the plate, and it was like yeah. seeing... I don't know, just some kind of a horrible birth gone wrong. Oh. Like, um, like with the embryo <laughs> and the, oh. and the umbilical cord. I don't know. It was so slimy and wobbly and there was this clear fluid around it that was gelatin. I, just I, awful. I never ate ham again for mm. the rest of my life. I have still mm. to this day will not eat ham because of that. Well, my mom used to set me in a chair and give me a uh, pork chop bone. They called me pork chop when I was a baby because I used to love to chew on a pork chop bone. I hate pork chops too. That's the weird thing about me. I can eat bacon and sausage, but you do a pork roast, a pork chop, a piece of ham. Pulled pork. Pulled pork. I hate it. I hate (laughs) it. I won't eat barbecue pork. None of it. I just hate it. It makes no sense. And I like a thick ham steak. I know. You're always like... How thick is your ham? <laughs> and they're like, they're like, it's like this. Well, but, because you wouldn't like let this? me stay vegan, so I might as well. No, I, well, you're doing better now. You're healthier. Well, yeah. Uh huh. I put on twenty pounds. Well, you put on twenty pounds of sugar. No. 
mom, the dessert every day, every day, every day. Believe me. Trust, believe. I got to back up out of this uh, sun. Are we going bye bye? We're rolling, rolling backwards. We're rolling, the rolling, sun's rolling, in my eyes. Oh. It's bothering me. Well, it's. It looks like it's just. Oh, there we go. There we go. That better? That's better. Okay. I was getting the glare. Oh, we the, didn't want the glare. We don't want the glare. <laughs> so, anyway, there's the diet. How long are you going to stay on this diet? Until, well, it's not a diet. It's a lifestyle. Oh, a choice. I'm going to be on this forever. Are you? Because I realize. I don't think that's healthy. Mm -mm. I'm Because I'm eating chicken and fish and certain vegetables. And then I take my vitamins and I feel good and I'm sleeping better and I'm losing weight. As long as you don't, I don't know, that red meat, I'm conflicted about that because. I don't eat a lot of red meat. Oh, okay. I eat a lot of fish and a lot of chicken. Well, and now you chicken's got, not healthy. At I know. All. Now you're worried about okay, it's processed in China. It's washed in chlorine. It's injected with hormones. It's made with steroids. I know. You make it. You make life difficult, mother. And they're cramped into. You know, they say that they're cage free, but they're cramped in clear up to your waist i know i mean but the thing and is it's is, dirty and diseased there's dead birds on the ground it's just horrible you said something that was so brilliant one time oh did i are you ready for this <laughs> yeah <laughs> you said nobody should have grass in their front yard oh no i don't think they should you said everybody should have a garden and yeah. everybody should grow their food yes you're like why are you watering grass why yes. aren't you out there watering your garden Yes. Like every front yard should be I mean, be every day food. they go, every week they go out and mow and mow and mow instead of water their food. I mean, to me, that's just obnoxious that you'd grow grass or, or unless you want to eat it. But what a great idea. Imagine if everybody had gardens in their front yard that had all kinds of fruits and vegetables. And if everybody did it, not everybody would, they'd say, oh, because somebody's going to steal my food. So what? If they're that hungry, let them have it. Right. But they, if they grow their own, nobody's going to want other people's food. They have their own. That's right. And imagine all the local neighborhood farmers markets you could have, the trades you could make. You're like, somebody yeah. grows really good strawberries, somebody grows really good. And look good. at all the avocado trees, the lemon trees, the lime trees. The Yeah. They have oranges. Oh, wait a minute. What? But we live in California where you could do that. Yeah. You may not be able to do that in places where it snows. In Colorado. Right. It's seasonal there. Yeah. Well, that's why you have greenhouses. Well, nobody can afford to build greenhouses. Why? Mom, that's who can not... afford to build a greenhouse? Oh, those long plastic sheets of plastic and... Oh, no. Now you're getting ugly. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want to see a bunch of plastic greenhouses when I drive down the street. Well, you're not in Colorado, so don't worry about it. Well, or any place. I still want to see, like, you know, yards. I like, I like yards. Like... Even little houses have nice yards. Like these people have a nice yard. Let me turn that. They have a nice little house, a nice yard. You know who's that? Reminds me of Tony Soprano's house from the Sopranos. Um, no, I like grass. <laughs> All right. Well, we rambled on about food. Yes, and now I'm hungry. I am too. I forgot my wallet. I'll buy. Okay. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye bye.